Uh, but here we go, first game, second match of today. Uh, Argonautas need to get the win if they want to have a chance of staying as a fuel division. Yeah buddy, need to get a win or at least a tie if they want to make it to second place. So that's what's on the line. Let's find out. Alright. Here we go. So, what are we seeing? There's definitely a lot of shanties and coppers from Argon's side. Ooh, actually really happy infantry so far, I think. Or... Wow, Jeffum will line up. If this is true... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Jeffum will be playing just archers there for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. But he switched it out quickly. Yeah, but you see a lot of calf coming from uh, Yabadi as well. Mm -hmm, yeah. Also, Argonald is using quite a few Hussars, uh, a couple cataphracts there. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a ground uh, defense mm -hmm, for, yeah. um, for Yabadi. Yeah, quite heavy on the Liaos, by the way. So, even not a single Hussar. So, different read on what calf is going to be strong here. Yeah, buddy going with the Liaos and. Uh, I think go he has a good pick for defense. Mm -hmm. Like maybe one or two hussars is okay to have, but uh, I think he has definitely a better pick. Uh, he has definitely a better pick for uh, defenders, because if you defend reset and go to the gate immediately, uh, their hussars like the attackers hussars is gonna be kind of useless. Because you just come from the sides, mm -hmm. and the uh, enemy hussars can only charge through the gate with and. If you have pikes protecting it, protecting the gate, I mean, there's nothing they can do about it. But they have impacts for that reason, I guess. But we will see how Argonauts are going to be using the impacts. Absolutely. Alright, so here we go. Another match on Hidden City. This is going to be the last one this season for these two teams. Gonna be good. All right, so let's take a look at the units count because we haven't done that yet. Uh, 12, 80 for Argonautas, 10, 46 for yeah, buddy. So even if there remains a gap of 200 units in favor of yeah, buddy, it should still be considered the same quality probably. And also, this this is the thing we didn't see uh, that players, sh the team should do actually is having all their artists face, uh, focusing the battering ram instead of the Towels mm -hmm. and uh, Yabad is uh, the first team to do that today. Yeah, because it's very unlikely you you're also... going to destroy the towers, right? So, no, it's mm -hmm. you can also see Argonus trying to do the Imshil trick that I spoke about uh, mm -hmm. for the last game as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Definitely having a few of those walk in front, pretty fun to see. <laughs> I like it. Uh, there's only muskets on the wall though right now, so no longbow. This is gonna take a while before they can really shoot uh, at those. Uh... But yeah, Excalibur still got 26 have, layer. We, yeah, we, we have like four We can also see the longbow sitting on the left si siege tower, by the way. So yeah. both teams... I would use the longbow actually in the middle tower, maybe the right tower, yeah. and harass the enemy muskets mm -hmm. uh, for the defenders. So yeah, exactly. they can shoot, uh, they can push the battering ram. Also, Argonauts are doing a really good job. They're using all their artilleries to shoot the gate, just in case the ram doesn't reach. You know, mm -hmm. so it gets destroyed, and eventually they don't need to deal with the battering ram. Right, so I'm pretty close to the gate now. I wonder if they might open it, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, I see units even retreating from the gate right now. So yeah, buddy, definitely not going to hold a point. That's for sure. They don't have any specialists out right now on, uh, on the defender side. They have one Coco from the left hand side. Mm -hmm. From defender point. Oh, there, there's one Coco. Yeah. Yeah. But it's better to like maybe not take your Cocos out or specialists in the mm -hmm. right now because. 
uh, they're gonna cap A right now and they will have a lot of time, so they can they could make a suicide push. Yeah, exactly. And also we can see the longbow that Drowse is still sitting on the wall, he's definitely looking for the for any units there. He was shooting at the Fortaraccio in the gate earlier, so. Alright, so I can already see um, Argonaut is switching to the units they probably want to have for the first attack, so they're not delaying any time. They have plenty of time though, like it's gonna go to 11 minutes. Ooh, trap. Not gonna hit anything. Also see chances in the middle from here, buddy. Pretty heavy reliance on uh, shield maintenance, right? For uh, yeah, buddy, you are there. Uh, More than I, I normally see. Like they they love to play it on the range, so. Uh, they bring a lot of imp shields, maybe also claimers, so the imp shields can tank more with the claimers, and they use the range units to deal, to deal the DPS, basically. Yep. Yeah, it definitely looks uh, like it. We see Argon is splitting right now. Yep. Maybe they're planning to do a split push. Yeah, it might be. They also they have, have one guy. Uh, they're okay. very low on anti cap by the way. Yep. So... This is one of the things, actually, we had in in a scrim, uh, maybe like, I think one season ago, maybe two. Mm -hmm. um, people, what they would do is just like, show you that they have bike units, like a lot of bike units, and mm -hmm. shield units, like more of infantry. So you force your opponent like to bring uh, infantry as well, so they can win the push. Yep. And instead, they just fully swap to calf from the supplies, and they go uh, and kill and wipe you, because they don't have mm -hmm. any anti calf yeah, yeah so maybe this is one of the things that we could see today as well mm -hmm. yeah and if, if there's any team i would expect to quickly be able to swap units it would be yeah buddy all of their players are really experienced and you'll uh, also see an ready. impact unit yeah. from argonauts yeah, uh, on just the, the supply yep yeah, oh, yeah i they, think maybe this guy's waiting one, for yeah. the um, yeah it looks like they are yeah they're they all, all, also the forte Bracho now starting to move up uh they got two impacts right out right now but still sitting on the supply Two units of Sekelian from Yeah Buddy. Yeah Buddy are moving with uh, Argonautas to the, the other side of the map right now. I think they're testing, uh, trying to see the, how Yeah Buddy is uh, react to the rotation. But yeah, now right now I think we see have one impact and one brush shield for the Argonauts. And they also have one impact at the supply back there. But probably they're gonna use this impact for the reinforcement fight. Mm -hmm. So when they start to lose the fight on the gate, or on the stairs, I mean, uh, and they start to respawn, they can use this empire to open the space or create space from, for the gate for when the Argon spawn. Yep, it looks like they're moving, can push right now. Trebuchet prediction, trebuchet there. Looking to see if any unit is going to step in. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so and they're down right now. space also being given for Argonauts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite a bit. And they should push that side actually Ooh. really fast, because Yep. The Yabadi's yeah, reaction is kind of late, I would say. If mm -hmm. uh, Argons become really aggressive over here, they could wipe them. Yep. For us, there are really good uh, Zekelian intro, but more Zekelians uh, and Shenji being thrown by Argonautas right now. Oh, we see Ooh, a shield big being flank. Shield yeah, yeah. flank from uh, Kabab and Assad. It's really good. That is a but massive They're losing flank. the front line. Yep. Yabadi yeah, yeah, are pushing through to the gate yeah, right now, though. Yabadi's flank is mm -hmm. kind of late as well from yep. the right hand side. But yeah. it's it's good that Argonus also gained the space from the gate, so if they spawn. Mm -hmm. And there is another problem, like we said, they don't have anti calves so yep. what everybody did is that got calves wiped. and wiped them. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, Argonauts actually won the fight on the right staircase there, eventually with the infantry. When they pushed back, they also managed to get through the gate, and I think a couple units of Argonauts were able to get out as well, as they managed to pick up Xiaolong Shu outside. But yeah. Pretty close fight, I think, in that one. Uh, both teams losing about 200 units. 250 actually for... Uh, yeah, buddy. So maybe a small win for Argonautas there. Although Suliang gets picked off as well. Right now they just put focus on the gate. And uh, see what's up. How they're going to be doing their next mm -hmm. push. Didn't see uh, a massive calf spam yet, I think. Although there's a lot of them out right now. We also see uh, they had a small moment where they could 
reinforce the push from the gate, but they haven't done that. Mm -hmm. They're just may looking for a full reset. Uh, actually, if you look at the unit trade, this was kind of equal. Yeah. I yes. think at the start it was 1.2k and 1k, right? So yeah, 200 to 200. Yeah, exactly. But basically, almost all players lost like one unit on their lineup. So they they're, they're all on their second unit now. Still want to go. Looks like it's gonna be the same big group. A uh, lot of uh, monks imp shield this time from Argonautas together with the Fortabaccio. So a few more anti kefir Yeah, but it shouldn't give them space right now on the stairs, mm. like last push. Because they have a lot of pipes units. They have like brushes, a lot of brushes. Uh, if they block them off, yeah, the brushes will the basically deal mm. no damage. Ooh, we got a player disconnecting from Yabadi yeah, though, so this might be a chance for Argonauts to push through. Double Shenji on and the side of uh, Yabadi. Yeah, oh, Yabadi yeah, taking control of the mid, they're trying to go for mid, okay. Yeah. It looks like they're trying See, to open Shenji's, up the... Uh... Oh, this is gonna be so bad, like, they're so blocked up, oh, mm. and the Shenji's a oh, big bomb. Oh. Yep. Oh, but the Croco is strong back at the Shenjis. It's so good. Here comes the flank, though. If Argonauts uh, the push through hard, fight. they're going to have oh. tr trouble there. They, they, yeah, they need to deal with the flank right now. They should mm -hmm. have a group dealing with the flank, and they should keep focusing. But no trap. Okay, we have a, someone trapping supply this time. This is good to see. But they need to deal with the flank. They need to focus on the flank. Don't go for B. Just focus on the fight. Like if they make the fight over here on the Ooh. gate and they keep they keep holding them off, the respawners could actually clean them. Mm -hmm. But the calf is yeah, the calf keep wipes them again. Once again. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, they yeah, managed to get talking, on the B point, uh, but the heroes the are just players, stopping them. Yeah. Yep. Now it's it's useless to go to the B point right exactly. now. Like the shield players are not protecting the pikiness of Argonauts and the monks and the impacts basically went through them. Mm -hmm. If they had the if they had the shield units protecting them in that moment, maybe it could have been a different situation. Yep. Especially that the supply is being blocked. Yeah, and that's what we talked about. The support heroes and players from Argonautas trying to make the hero play going to the B point, but uh, they needed to protect their uh Forte there. Yeah. They mm -hmm. should just focus on the fight. Like supplies are being interrupted mm -hmm. and they won one small fight, so they just need to deal with the other small fight and focus on that fight. But yep, the, absolutely. unfortunately, the shields went to the B point instead of protecting the pipe units. Yeah. And Yabadi actually punished them. They saw that opportunity and they just ignored the B point and they punched them in that situation, mm -hmm. which is really well done. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'm going to focus a bit on Lazy Imperator here because he's got six hero kills already. Uh, Neurotic also on five, by the way. Um, so he's definitely making uh, it really hard for them then to get most hero kills this season. Then then still six behind, but that's now 12. Of course, then that's going to play in our next match with Odin's uh, Legion. There's also another problem. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Argonauts now have Cav, you know, and yep. they had the moment to go through the gate or at mm -hmm. least create space so the Cav can get inside the city, and yep. they're just waiting once again. Yeah, absolutely. If they had pushed out those uh, for departure, I mean, this, yeah, there, there's still room, but not that much, of course. Yeah, right now, what um, Yabadi should do is just have their bikes on the gate. And all their infantry, shock infantry, and calves should just focus on the stairs and they should win the fights. We see some cocos coming from Argonauts and they're uh -huh. rotating. Yeah, on the look, side again. look at this. Yeah, but he made a mistake last round on the White Oak Fort, not protecting the gate well enough, but now you can see it. Double Fort Vartio in Pike inside the gate. So not, they're not going to allow any calf to go through. And so many calf units on Argonauts right now. Yeah. Uh, this is also a problem for some teams, for like newbie teams, uh, is that they leave the cab outside without support units, you know? So like mm -hmm. usually what teams do, as you can see Yabadi right now, they have brushes on the gate, and this is really good as well, they have only one sh imp shield to protect the brushes. Uh, what good teams usually do, they just like bring Mermillionis or Impike for example, waiting on the gate, so they open for the gate so the cab can go in. Yep. All right, fight exploding. Nice Sikeli intro there from Magnus, but big flank there coming in from the back by uh, Buddy. They're also jumping on Mr. Diplomat Shenji there, and this is going to be a wipe. The gate is trying to push in full arm armor through. Calf charge after calf charge. Maybe at some point they will be able to get through, but then the rest of your buddy is going to come back. You would expect at least. They managed to make it in, but with a yep. lot of losses, so there's really not a thing they can do about it. 
Yeah, yeah, but the cleaning up this time, not making the same mistake as White Oak Four. Three heroes going to the B point, but <laughs> that's not going to be enough. One minute twenty left. Is there even a se second rotation now from uh, Odin? So I don't think so. No supply block as well. So new units here. Clean wipe there. Ripcat's picking up another kill. Also shouting Shush in it. Getting another one. And already look at the gate. Just yeah, but he's not wasting any thing here. Not taking any more risks. Uh, there is nothing Ardens can do right now. Yep, this is done. This is just gonna be a minute of uh, farming units and farming heroes. This trap may be able to do something, but that's not gonna be enough. Oof, huge though. Just some troops or troops. Yeah, that's gonna be good for whoever called that one. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Lazy Imperator getting more and more kills. Uh, as expected, Wolf Silent spawning with the Martatori. Let's go. That's what you like to see, right? Surf Slaying. Nice Sorry, trap. That's what we like to see. Slaying Surfs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I love to see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice one. Alright, so yeah, buddy. Making sure that the Arknotas are going back to Rustic Division already. Uh, but yeah, but he's still on the route to getting second place. Um, if Odin's drop a single game, then yeah, but he has a chance to make it there. So they need to get a second game, of course, if they, if they want to, to be guaranteed there. But uh, it's going to be close, going to be close. All right, let's focus on the players first. Isonatic, MVP here, 67 unit kills. Booming Kagan, 111, really good job. But then Lazy Imperator, 9 hero kills, and also Neurotic, 9 hero kills. Showing yeah, him who's boss. We still have a lot of hero kills coming from the Light Armor mm -hmm. and Medium Armor. So it's really good. Absolutely, even Ripcats, yeah. Ripcats normally on the dual base, uh, yeah. by the way, so uh, definitely making a little switch there. And Sexy Kebab. He, he actually means three classes. Like yeah. The new class, the, the Chain and Dot, Tool mm -hmm. Blade, and Musket. He plays these three classes pretty well. Yeah, that's really, really good. Also, Sexy Kebab always on the Glaive. I think he's basically the only one right now who should be allowed to play the Glaive. I, think yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm trying to play so a little I, bit. I, I don't think I don't think I've seen. Maybe, maybe Gaba. I think only Gaba and Sexy, Sexy Kebab have been playing Glaive. Yeah, I know that back in the day, Machin was also playing Glaive. That's actually what he played in our tournament when, and he was leading mm -hmm. the team, like playing really, really well, but. After that, he switched to medium class, so uh, yeah, that, that changed. Uh, if you uh, look at I, the units, by the way, in the Heroes Guild, and I was quickly gonna get another lobby. Um, troops Guild, pretty close, just the last fight, the difference, I think, Argonauta did quite well in the first fight, but then losing it in the second and third fight. But Heroes Guild is a huge difference, of course, losing all those uh, fights in the end. Actually, looking at the, looking at the fights, um, Argon's had some moments where they could win the fights but they didn't use that opportunity mm -hmm. like there was some small mistakes that didn't make them uh win the fights like for example on the first push uh the flank from the wall done by Assad and kebab was really done well mm -hmm. the timing was perfect as well and but if you look at the um, right hand side from the minimap um yeah, buddy also had like around four to five players not doing anything. They came, they joined the fight after like maybe 45 seconds, which is a lot, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddies were kind of late on that rotation. Uh, Argon should have used that opportunity to like just push in hard, like just push in, uh, so they could maybe win the fight. But this was, they were instead, they were just playing around the range, and you know. Mm -hmm. I understand that this is their style, but like sometimes you need to adapt to the fight. Like yeah. you see a lot, like if you see your opponent have five people being really slow, you could still play around your range units, but at the same time you can be aggressive. This is one thing that they didn't do. And on the second fight, actually this fight, I thought that they, they would definitely win it. But the Imshield players, instead of covering the Pikins after winning the front fight, they just went on the B point and trying to cap it. While being flanked, and the impikes, impikes and monks of uh, Yabadis created the space for the calf, mm -hmm. and the calf basically wiped them, uh, yep. just like Absolutely. the first fight. Yeah, exactly. What do you think about the impikes compared to the Fort of Show then? Because we've been seeing them in last match as well, but now even more. Um, 
do you think it's a, it's a considerable counter to the cap right now? I mean, of course, not the Yanya Dao cap is allowed, so a few more anti cap options open, perhaps. For me, Impact is a unit that is played around Cav mostly. Like it creates the space for the Cav as is also for um, uh, for just right now the match for Yabadi and the mm -hmm. Argonauts. Mm -hmm. uh, the Impacts created the space twice yeah. in the fights. Yep, like absolutely. two fights, two different fights, the Impacts created the space for the Cav to wipe them. Uh, yeah. And this requires uh, communication, mm -hmm. of course, for for you to pull uh, something like that. Yep. Yeah, but absolutely. Yabadi yeah. executed it really well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you could see that the gate when uh, Argonauts were pushing forward. Uh, I think he called it out as well. You could see the Fortabaccio from Argonauts trying to retreat to m not get pushed over by the Imperial Pikes. But of course, Barcio yeah, is too slow, impact, right? Actually. Yeah. yeah, about the impact of our Argonauts that was uh, left on the supply. Mm. Oh, like, yeah, that was what great. I honestly thought. What I honestly thought is that they're trying to be like undetected for that impact. Mm. So like in the reinforcement push, they could use this impact to create space on the gate, mm -hmm. so they can uh, have the space on the gate and make a push from there. But I haven't seen that done actually. I don't know what was the point of the impact back there. Yeah. But uh, that's what I thought honestly they would uh, do for that impact. Yeah, perhaps they could have tried. But I've also wasn't noticed a bad that... idea actually. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So something else I also know, keep noticing is that. Um... If you just set up in the gate with the Fortabaccio and even the shields in front of those, um, if you keep spamming enough calf, eventually it's going to go through, right? We saw that at the last point as well. Um, so that enforces, I think, the point that we made during the game is that whenever a team sees an opportunity after dying once on the attack, you might more often, I think, consider to actually push through the gate and just force it. Or am, or, or am I totally wrong here? The gate is good, but... Mm -hmm. Like using it in the reinforcement, like reinforcement push is good to use on the gate because um, people are still getting units from the supply, they're not in position yet, mm -hmm. while you just spawn right in front of the gate. And especially if you have some few people blocking the gate, uh, this is this can be like done uh, really well. But uh, I think uh, Lazy Imperator was probably the guy protecting the supply, mm -hmm. and uh, I've seen then attacks multiple times trying to block the supply but he didn't block it for long there was only one time that he actually blocked it for like quite a few seconds but uh, most of the other time he was just dead mm -hmm. so like the timing you need to be like good at it especially if the supply being protected by uh, chain and dart and he has a uh, unit like a shield made in Orchev yeah absolutely we'll see we didn't see as many um, supply blocks, I think, this game. That was also something else that also, I think, really allowed um, yeah, but it to keep coming back, back with the calf as well. Yeah. I think it was, but like the timing was like mm. not good. And uh, it was only one guy uh, mm. I saw. It was only the attacks. Okay. And one guy is usually not enough. Like, yep. the best thing you can do to block supplies is maybe just send a claimer player, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or sent Amya, but he's not in this game, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. It's going to be game two. We're going to find out if the timing from your buddy is just right to get the second game as well. Or if Argonautas can actually make it back and close out the season with what they started this season, which is winning. But unfortunately, they've been mm, unable to get enough wins near the end of the season. Here we go, here we go. All right. Lots of muskets there. On the buddy, that's an insane amount of muskets. Looks like a musket stronger than Mole now. Alright, uh, I'm seeing uh, a defense for Argonautas. Definitely what I would be expecting there. Oh. All right, all right. Let me stream. Small mistake there. Sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we see impacts again, once again, from both teams. Mm 
and uh, see a lot of shenjis coming and cocos like this is one thing as well like a lot of players um that, which is not good but it's understandable which have which is having the same player playing double range usually this is not a good thing to see but if he's the only guy that does that then mm -hmm. i deal with it yep Yeah, so we even see the javelins coming out. So um, both Rouse and Malabrake on the javelins. We only have one Sicilian right now, but I'm expecting more to come out as well. And a lot of Imperial shields. So I wonder if they are gonna try and destroy the battering ram actually. I think it would be more effective. Yeah, we're gonna see if our guns actually are gonna be using all their artillery to sh be shooting the battering ram, mm -hmm. uh, like your buddy did last uh, last round. Yep. Well, trap straight away on the right uh, cannon, so yep. that's quick and easy. Yeah, they're not giving uh, any opportunity for them to do that. Mm -hmm. And you can also see muskets already on the artillery to be destroying the. Yep. It looks like they got the uh, the shooting right on. Already all the cannons on the right side are destroyed. Center and left are still standing though. They are shooting the battering ram, that's for sure. It's just half health already. It's not even being pushed by the way. Yeah, that was not being pushed. Or is it pushed? No, the right tower is being Yeah, pushed. right tower and battering ram not being pushed, so something is going off. No, I mean, it's okay not pushing the battering ram if mm. you don't have serfs because the is gonna get damaged and maybe you lose. Yeah. But the right tower is not being pushed as well. So. And I think the, yeah, the imp shields are now moving in to push either the battering ram or the uh, yeah. The tower. They don't have stars. Mm -hmm. They don't want to lose the the units, you know. While yeah, being exactly. Under them. If you put a fortabaccio on there, they're just gonna die too quickly. Imp shields are fine, I think, for pushing. But uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna see. Uh, looks like the left siege tower is actually under fire by the uh, javelins, so mm -hmm. that one might be going down. Although I'm not sure if these two are gonna be enough. Yeah, I know. I think it's gonna reach unless they, yeah, unless they send some th people to die yeah. on the tower, maybe it won't reach. But it's not really worth it because next time, next, uh, next round is gonna reach basically. Yeah, they are gonna jump down. Yeah, uh, they're jumping down. Now, uh, will they be able to destroy it? That's the question. Only if they get help from the trap. Uh, I think. Seems like it. Maybe. maybe. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah maybe yeah. the friendly trap. They oh, just need it. one hit. Oh. Uh, they got the muskets, they got the muskets. They may be able to get it with the muskets. Oh, the trap! Yeah, they got it. Oh, they got it. All right, nice. I think it's I, I think it's kind of useless. Yeah, Maybe that's what I was about to say. I'm not sure if it's we'll worth see. it, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. I mean... It's only good to buy time. That's yeah, exactly. Well, both of them a few minutes, maybe, perhaps. Um, but middle seats are already in. Uh, they're actually pushing really hard here for a uh, imp shield unit. But Gofred's not afraid holding off there with his uh, longsword, so good job by him. Ripcats shooting down, shouting she also shooting down from the from top with the muskets. Battering ram reach by the way, so not any delay there. Yeah, we're gonna see what the abad is gonna do right now. I think most likely they're gonna wait for the other tower to reach and then make a push. Because usually pushing from these two towers is kind of hard. But also Argonus is Kinda out of position, I'd say. Like they have some people on the left side, uh, which is like not pretty good. Like the entry is kind of slow, you know. You mm -hmm. need to be in position, or you're gonna be like really late to the fight. You see also Ripcats getting a kill out of, of Mason from Argonauts, and we see a trap coming. Ooh, yeah, definitely getting a few there, but not that many. Argonauts are just poking at these Imperial Shields, not really pushing anything there. They're waiting for the left Siege Tower actually, so definitely bought time for them. Yeah, it's not very wise to push from these towers actually, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's the best thing you can do is just wait for that tower. Oh, we see Den attacks actually, a really good ult from there. Yeah, yeah, pushing uh, them all down, Neurotic dropping. Yeah, he knocked yeah, off Neurotic yeah. out and... Ooh. Also another one musket, there's a 1 HP musket I saw. Yeah, shouting shield is really, really low. Yeah, they're definitely playing for it. Excalibur might be able to get him, maybe. No, Diplomat also not going to get those. 
Yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a slower game now from the start. But yeah. it might be very different when the first fight starts. If they hold off, uh, Argonus, if they hold off, is going to be really good to see. Mm -hmm. I, and they also have a good setup, but I really want to see them in, in position. Because like right now I see like around four people in mid when it's not needed. Mm -hmm. It should be like close to the middle tower, kind of. Yeah, exactly. But in the middle. Yeah, and also the, and left, the, the left seats are yeah, there, the right? And there's there's, and there's they're almost not, no one yeah, there. They're not, they're not there. They're yeah. not ready. They're not ready. I don't see even a range unit coming from Argonauts. It's gonna, it's gonna be the same situation of uh, and Gagner and uh, and yeah and why so serious? Yeah, maybe Messi there's here. no range unit shooting on that tower. Easy to trap. They should just push in. Yeah, but they should just push in. Yeah, but he's holding off on the pushing the other siege towers oh, and also the better rotating, uh, Oh, yeah, but he's getting a flank off. They went through the gate as well. Mm -hmm. They're being slow, though. We're gonna see how... Uh, it's not really dangerous if they just set up on both sides. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, nah, it's not needed the halberd gong in like that. We yeah, also see the good. left, the side tower being pushed over there. It's super easy, like I said, because there is no range in it to be over there. Mm -hmm. Still, Argonaut is really holding seeing, strong there, though. See Coco's shooting. Yep. Alright, so Bal uh, Baltar and the guys are definitely getting the middle siege tower in, under control as well, but the left siege tower and is now fully under control. Yeah. The, they have control of the wall right now. Yeah, yeah but they has wall control. They need again. Uh, range is not being used from Argonauts. It's the wall mistake that everyone does so yeah, far. It's such a shame. Now the Shenji are definitely dealing some damage, but they are gonna get killed. Green Crow, Baltasar, Dunko Kagan all stepping on Wolf Silent Shenji. This is gonna be really hard for Argonauts to come back from. We saw in the lineup, right? Not any Kev, I think, or hardly any. So they need to be really aggressive now with uh, with the defense. Yeah, also, yeah, but you know, wasting time. People who need to reset, they're also resetting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very curious. Need a few people to cap. Yeah. I wonder what Argonauts are gonna do now. I feel like they definitely planned for a hard A defense, but um, not making it work here. They're also giving up the right supply, it looks strong. like this. This is more like a... Yeah. Ooh, they might be sallying, trying to find a few units, but... Yeah, uh, trying to gather inf more of an information yeah. what they're gonna be going or doing. Nothing to be found there. The right supply is free, by the way, so... Whenever uh, Yabody goes there, they may be able to get it. Alright, so... Forget what I said before about uh, Yabadi not bringing in a Zikalian. They got two right now. <laughs> and looks like they may be also, going to the left um, side. Uh, looking, yeah, they're more going to the left side. Mm -hmm. They have some units on the gate as well, so looks like maybe they're gonna be like pushing from the left side, block supply, and push from the gate mm -hmm. when people are starting to die, and then use that as a reinforcement for yeah. the reinforcement, you know, to create space on the gate. Yeah, absolutely. And I really like what we saw, by the way, just now from yeah, buddy. Uh, you could even see the guys going through the gate. A lot, sure. of, a lot of imp shields, though. A lot mm -hmm. of imp shields. Yeah, especially. So if there is a lot of calves, it's gonna be a problem. Especially that all. They need to take a supply, maybe. Mm -hmm. But. I uh, like that. I don't see a lot of anti calf coming yeah. from your buddy here. Yeah, we do have the... And this is really gate, bad for Argonauts, actually. Mm -hmm. They're not swapping to Cav, they're playing full pikes. And if they, if they play full pikes into this setup of Yabadi, they're mm -hmm. gonna most likely lose. Yeah, but also the thing is, Argonauts don't have much else. They only brought two units of uh, Cav. It's one unit of Dagorax Lances and one unit of uh, Monastics. So yeah, they're only... Be super bad for Argonauts. Yeah, so they're in a really bad position right now. And yeah. the reaction is kind of late. I, I don't see any any reaction so far from Argonauts. Mm -hmm. If they take a fight over here, it's gonna be so bad for them. But they are. They need to the fight too. Yeah, the Cicalian is gonna be huge. Sides. It's gonna be really hard for them. Mm -hmm. Especially if the Zikalians are on top and shooting. Oh my god. Yeah, and also the Shenji. Yeah, here comes Booming Kagan with this uh, Zikalian. They're gonna be huge, but Argonauts is definitely pushing hard uh, the gate. Still holding from them as well, so no cap is gonna come they in. They need to abuse supply here. They they gotta mm -hmm. need they need to abuse supply. 
Argus yep. need to abuse supply right now. Absolutely. We can see all and the... there's no supply being blocked from your buddy, so they yeah. need to abuse the supply. Definitely a mistake here. Finally, they are selling two, but all are able to get the one monastic that they have. Yeah. I really doubt they will do something here because they lost a lot of units. Mm -hmm. And the, the gate is still being protected, though. Is it? Yep, yep. Still is, still is. They are pushing yep. in now, though. Uh, there's also Hussars going through the gate, so they are definitely uh, trying to push through. Yeah, they're losing the fight from yep. the gate. Yeah, Imperial well. Pike Advance still holding off, but now the gate is going to be pushed fully through. Monastic Charge is nice, but not good enough, I think. So yeah, buddy in control. They also got the Supply Block still going on. Two heroes there, three heroes even. Plebs, Hayata, Shang Shu, but also <laughs> Kagan now, Sexy Kebab. Yeah, they're just getting the left supply. Only five alive from Argonauts right now. This looks like a clean wipe from yeah, buddy right now. If you look at the unit gap, it's also there. A lot of T4 is lost on uh, Argonauts. They basically only have uh, T1 left uh, right now. Yeah, this is going to be so hard for uh, Argonauts to They had calf in this anything. situation would be a lot of different. Mm. Like, yeah, but he didn't bring... Like, they had not only two branches coming in this push from the steps. It's not like a lot. It can be easily dealt with, especially Cocos are and changes being available. Yep. That could be easily dealt with. And now we see a camp defense coming from Argonauts. Mm -hmm. uh, will we see a passive or ag aggressive one? We're going to see right now. Yeah, well, with the units that they have, I don't think Argonauts really has any chance to play aggressive. Uh, only the shield man could really create a flank. They may have one unit of their axe lances yeah may stun is the only one with Kef right now so i think we're just gonna see a swarm from uh yeah buddy yeah i mean yeah but just, at this point they just just push in yeah they, they win. they're so far out they they probably could even have pushed there's still three dead from argonauts as, as well so they're outnumbered still with the long death army with so many fighting gone wrong from them here comes the push uh, we see pushing right now yep here it comes uh, calf flanking, oh, oh, big flank. So far so good for Magnals, they're holding out a little bit, because they're only coming in from two directions right now. Nah, the calf already wiped them. Yep. The calf already wiped there them. There we go. The calf from Yabba, they already wiped them. There is really nothing they can do. I don't see trap being used, but it's like pointless at this uh, point. There's they don't no really point. need to use trap. The only thing Yabba is going to trap is themselves. Them. Yeah, this is a absolute... Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sexy Q is trying to come in from the back, but he's going to be too late. There's not going to be anything Someone's to find there. Someone's looking for the farm here, mm -hmm. with the trap. There we go. There you go, there you go. Alright, full wipe. Only six alive, but I don't know if you sure where they are. Well, that's zero. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I was wondering, six alive at the top? That can't be right. And that was correct. It was only zero. So yeah, buddy, picking up the win here against Argonautas. Going to 2-0. Great way to finish out the season. Argonautas tried holding A. Can it do it, though? I think that was definitely the skill gap there, uh, Mask, to be honest. The unit setup, like, the unit setup is, is not the best coming from Argonauts. And also, rotation, rotation-wise, I'm like, picking fights where you have unit, like, to suit your, uh, like, having, you know, like, you should, if you have pikes, you should take fights where you can actually use the pikes. Mm -hmm. And they're not taking that, I would say. I also wonder how they lost that gate fight. Uh, yeah, that was really weird. Well, so I know that there was a similar setup. So both teams had imp shields for Tavarcio and I think shield maiden or something. But then with the dead players from, uh, yeah, buddy, I think they spawned some calf and managed to break through. And also there was, um, uh, of course, there was uh, Lazy Imperator at the gate as well. So I imagine he got a few hero kills there and was able to tilt it. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch it back later, maybe. That's when you want to have replays, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, right. I mean, that, you should definitely work on that. Yeah, that would be epic. Uh, I'll probably need someone else to to create clips, send them to me right away, and then uh, do it that way somehow. I mean, but, I think maybe you can use Shabby replay, like not you. I mean, yeah, you exactly. Could just, yes, uh, someone else quickly send have it. Have multiple people, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. And maybe before like entering the game, just mm -hmm. like. Um, Organize it between each other. Like yeah. I'm gonna hold this side of the map. I'm gonna hold this exactly. side of the map. Exactly. Uh, this point of view. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna be Arvin's point of view. You're gonna be uh, Yabba's point of mm -hmm. view. You know. And yep. yes. use shadow replay. Yeah. And 
just stream it. You don't. I just show the clip and stream it. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be low production stuff, but like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's still good, you know. Yep. Well, that's the thing. I mean, at at some point, you you want high quality, but I think. Yeah. At, you also it's like start from somewhere, you know, start from yeah, somewhere. Exactly, exactly. But I mean, it's better to start from somewhere. Of, of course, the best thing is to get like 60 FPS and really good quality on the screen, but I think it's also really worth it to maybe go to 30 FPS and just get all the perspectives in the fight, right? But uh, yeah. yeah, both is better, of course. All right, let's go quickly to post beta analysis and then we can wrap up this match and go to the last one. That will be really important as well, um, as we are going to find out quickly. So. Um, Battle Strength started out in favor of uh, of the defenders, as we could see at the end as well. Lots of servers were killed in the process. Um, but look at the gap, that was massive. 600 units at the end. And you can see it every single fight, right? Yeah, but it just 